Hi. Um, I'm getting ready to test my new F480 embroidery and sewing machine for the second time. This is the second project I'm making. Um, I have never really embroidered before. Um, this is my first um, embroidery machine ever. So I've had to, you know, read my manual, go online on YouTube and, you know, um, do lots of research and everything. And um, so, um, and when I wanted to buy this, uh, when I wanted to buy uh, upgrade, because I, I actually am a handbag designer, so I'm not new to sewing at all. I've been sewing for 30 years. So, um, when I wanted to buy um, a new machine, I was looking and I kept, you know, trying to see what's the best one to get. And I found out that the F480 didn't have many um, posts on, on YouTube. So, I had a hard time deciding whether to get it or not. However, I've gone ahead and got my new f480 innovis and i will be posting more videos just in case anybody wants to get that machine so that they know how it performs and everything so anyhow without further ado i've hooped this um i've used my grid to um hook this this is just a piece it's going to be a pocket an inner pocket for a, a handbag a handbag order i really don't need to embroider on it but i just decided let me just to be an excuse to test out the the sewing machine i would post this the first project i made which turned out beautifully it was a christmas gift um i'll post that as well on my um youtube channel so anyhow so this is a i've hooped it um using the five by seven hoop and um I've just used just two things. I've used this, the 505 Audif, and this tear away soft light weight. I think because I'm not, I'm very new to um, embroidery, I think I should have got a probably medium weight. But whatever the case is, I had to do two layers of the stabilizer. So on that note, I will be showing you what I'm up to and what design I have chosen. So this is um, my hoop all fixed in and um, I am about to embroider a simple design. Of course, I know who my customer is, so I know what she likes. So um, it's going to take about six minutes, it says, and I think 11 different colors of thread. Um, so um, here we go. I'm going to press the button and, um, yeah, so put the presser foot down, turns to green, so I press, um, okay, I'm going to stop it and look for any, um, Excess thread and I'll cut that. And start again. So this is the 480 as I've said. Have I had any problems yet? Well, I've broken two needles. And the needle thread I wasn't threading properly and I would say it's all due to my it was my fault I read the manual and um, fixed those um, problems so basically I think it's important that we read our manuals apart from you know other ways of um, looking for the best ways to use our machines so in the meantime this is the F418 in action and um, I will definitely post the end result. 
hello again so i'm back to show you how far we've got with the pina colada or whatever it is and um we are on that the last thread which is going to be just one minute so um i'm gonna let it go now let it finish press that it's really lovely it says finished embroidering and I'm gonna just press okay so yeah so this is it um, I'm gonna put it on the inside um, this is piece is gonna be a pocket for a handbag I'm designing for someone so I hope you enjoyed my introduction to the Inovis F480 and um, I will definitely be posting you know as I um, travel along with my new friend all right then happy new year to you all bye